Hey, Chad Aroonies. How you doing today? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're going to be back for a, another delightful uh, treat today. So recipe today. And uh, we're going to be doing $10 recipe. So we're going to be doing ourselves a Mediterranean vegetable roll. Uh, so we're going to have puff pastry, obviously. Uh, the med veg, which we're going to roast down. Uh, in addition, we're going to make a nice, beautiful tomato sauce. And then obviously mixing a, a little cheeky bit of cheese through that roll as well. Um, and if you've got a lattice cutter, like I do, uh, we can uh, use that to go over the top. So almost like a lattice roll. But uh, that's a little extra. If you haven't got one, you can still make this absolutely fine. Um, but very straightforward, easy. I say easy. Not always easy, is it? Dish to do today. Um, and then we're going to serve it as well with a little touch of salad, whatever salad you want, whether it's iceberg, whether it's romaine. I think I've got a bit of rocket, 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 rocket. I need a pick through or arugula. So uh, if you're very familiar with that. So let's make a start for this. This is a very straightforward, easy dish to do today. I say easy, maybe a bit more challenge for you guys, but the elements for this dish is easy, right? So I'm going to have tomato sauce. We're going to be making the roasted Mediterranean veg. Obviously, I haven't got eggplant in this, but if you want to add eggplant to it, that's absolutely fine. But we're going to be using red onions, pep bell peppers, and courgettes, and a bit of garlic and herbs. So we're going to roast off the veggies. We're going to blend up our tomato sauce, add the veggies to the tomato sauce. We're going to grate some cheese, and then the puff pastry. So we're going to roll out the puff pastry. Once the sauce and the veggies are cooled down in the middle, fold it over. Obviously, the lattice, we're going to try and do two sheets, so we'll see. Um, and obviously, the cheese in there as well. Bake it off for about 30, 40 minutes uh, till nice and golden and it's ready to go. Right, let's dice this down. We're also going to take the skins off the garlic. Uh, now you could say, Chef, why don't you crush these down? Reason for it, because I'm putting them through my microplane so we can grate it into a nice little puree. So I'm just going to quickly take the skins off these before I start on the onion. So start off with the onions first. So when it comes to the onions, if you want a nice little clean, easy dice, uh, what you want to do is cut down horizontally, uh, keeping the root intact, uh, not cutting all the way through. And then obviously the more layers you get, the more finer dice. And then we're gonna cut it vertically. And then we, what we're gonna do after that is just pretty much just cut it straight across into a nice little dice. And then when you get to the end, all you pretty much want to do, without making too much of a mess, which I clearly haven't done, um, is pretty much cut it into three, turn it on the side, cut it into three again, and then just pretty much dice it up. And then you should be all good to go. So let's uh, grate down our garlic. Watch your fingers on that microplane. You don't grate your fingers and your, just make sure you grate the, the garlic cloves itself. But let's, let's get our pan on the, on the stove. So uh, tablespoon of oil for this tomato sauce. I'm gonna start sauteing off the uh, onions and garlic. So let's add the onions and garlic now. Oh, without making a mess, too late. Too late. Sauteing these off, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, herbs, or herbs, as you Americans like to wanna call it. I don't even think I got any thyme in my fridge, but we want a teaspoon of dry thyme, which I don't have, but it's on the recipe. And we want a teaspoon or two of oreg dried oregano. A can of tomatoes. Or chopped tomatoes. Plum tomatoes would be nice, but obviously we've got to keep in the price range. And second of all, they're very like kind of large cans when plum tomatoes come in. So we're going with the chopped. But if you're making a big batch, then I'd say plum tomatoes. Absolutely, it's more flavor in there. A can of tomatoes going in. Keep the can because we're going to need to top it up with water about 240 ml or one cup. Uh, in addition, we're going to need one tablespoon of distilled vinegar and two tablespoons of honey as well. So I'm going to pop that in there now. And if you're going to ask me why, why are you adding the vinegar to this? Well, number one, the vinegar will help bring out the flavor of the tomatoes. And then second of all, the honey will help rebalance it because it's so sharp. Add a bit of sweetness and it'll help balance it back out again. Uh, in addition, I'm going to need one cup of water and 240ml, so we're going to add that to that now. This is going to cook down very steadily and slow for about an hour, so I'm going to turn it down to a low heat. So uh, once it's nice and thick, we're going to then blend it down into a nice puree and then season it. So uh, let that cook away for about an hour, Ow! hour or so, and we should be good. Here, watch the pan, it can be hot. Preheat the oven. 
180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. And uh, we're gonna start chopping up those uh, delightful veggies. So there we go. I'm gonna just roughly chop up these veggies. So the uh, courgette or zucchini, we'll do that first. Um, and you can do this in multiple ways. People like to cut it up in lots of different ways, whether you wanna cut it straight in half, and then obviously snap it, take out the seeds. Or if you wanna take off the cheeks, the bottom, and then the corners, that's fine. Um, because we're gonna be chopping it off rough, I'm going in half for today. So, because we don't need to have it in any kind of um, matchstick or julienne. So I'm just gonna snap it in half, which is absolutely fine. And then uh, I'm gonna get rid of the seeds. Right, so we're gonna cut up these bell peppers very roughly. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller cut than uh, than into quarters. So just nice little kind of, I would say eighths maybe, sixteenths, but yeah, just, just you know, nothing so specific. Just cut them down into little squares. Uh, we've got the onions there, so we can add all of this. So just bear in mind, there's like a quarter of an onion here. I've also got a bit more pepper to kind of mix it up a bit, but uh, we're gonna put all of this chopped up. I'm just gonna chop these down a little bit more. So yeah, if I had my onion, I'd chop them to about this size. So half, half again, and then into little little pieces so they can roast off nicely. I'm just gonna pop our veggies straight in. And we wanna add about two tablespoons of oil and a good two pinches of salt in here, and then we're gonna give them a nice mix up. They're all coated, we've mixed them up. They're gonna go in the oven for about 20, 30 minutes just until they're nice and soft, maybe 40 minutes, we'll see. So uh, 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, ready to rock and roll. Um, right, I need to grate up some uh, cheese ready for the fill-in. So uh, we've actually got some Monterey Jack cheese. So I'm gonna use half of this. So you can already see it's already reduced down. I mean, you could keep it back on the stove for an hour, but um, a bit longer, just top it up with a little touch more water if you want to. But I feel like that's gonna be good. We're gonna blend that down now in a second. Oh yeah, they're good. Good to go. Look at them beautiful veggies roasted off very nicely. Absolutely. We've got a nice balance of acidity and sweetness to it, so that's good to go. Okay, so let's give this a mix. We'll set this aside. So the uh, veggies, the tomato sauce is all pretty much kind of cooling down now. Um, I'm just gonna put this into a bowl, mixing bowl so it cools down quicker. And then we're gonna combine the two once they've properly cooled down. If you combine it now, we roll the pastry we fill it while it's hot. Super important to make sure it's cool down. Otherwise the pastry will kind of melt. It'll be hard to roll, hard to wrap. Nice and cool. Yeah, we should be all right. Let's dump this in here. So I'm just gonna give this a nice mix up. Right, I need to roll this out a little bit more because that'd be very tiny otherwise. So what I intend to do, Alrighty. So we rolled our puff pastry out. We've got it nice and flat so we can put our filling in here. We're just gonna crack open an egg Give it a quick little mix and we can use that for some egg wash. Right, so, topping this up with some cheese. So now get the egg wash. And just pretty much egg wash all the way around. Little difficult because we put lots of flour underneath, so making it a bit more tricky for ourselves. And what I wanted to do is just have a little bit of the lattice showing at the top. So we put another sheet over the top, if that makes sense. So what we're gonna do, just very carefully put that onto there. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're good. So if you want to do, if you don't have a lettuce cutter and you want to like just wrap it, you can just put the fold on as normal chat. That's absolutely fine. Let's give this a nice little brush over. Cheeky soul as you are. Right. Pray to God this comes out nice. It doesn't spill and spew. It might, we'll see. But uh, good luck to that and we'll, we'll have a look. So 30, 40 minutes. Put my timer on. Okay, let's make that dressing. So 
We're just going to make a very simple, straightforward dressing. So for the salad itself, uh, but before we do that, we actually need to just quickly wash and chop up the salad. So um, I've got Rocket, as I said before, if you want to use iceberg lettuce or if you want to use romaine lettuce, something cheap and cheerful. Fantastic. I've got uh, arugula, sorry, or Rocket in my fridge, which I'm going to just pick through quickly. So for this dressing, we just want about a teaspoon of mustard, one tablespoon of distilled vinegar and two tablespoons of oil. That's all you're going to need. Let's give that a little, little whisk. Pretty much emulsifying it together so it's looking something like this right just a quick easy dressing look at that little beastie lattice roll right there oh my goodness me that oven needs to go off All right chat you ready for this moment Chat, this, this, oh my God, it smells so good. Look at that little gem right there. Right. Oh my goodness me. Just look at that. That little slice right there. Oh, what is it with the jumps today? Okay, I get it, chat, right? Things are gonna make me jump today, right? Can we get a rip in chat for, an, or an F in chat for the uh, fly? <laughs> I must have dressing for the rocket. Give it a little mix up. I'm gonna go too crazy on it. Here you go. I hope you're ready for this. Because this is going to be very delightful. Oh, wait! I ain't even talked to you about it. Hold on, chat. I'm jumping way ahead of the game. So, without me cutting into my uh, delightful pastry, because I can't wait to eat it. So, but anyway, um, so there is our Mediterranean puff pastry roll. Uh, so, we made simple, straightforward roasted Mediterranean veg. We had bell pep, red bell pepper, <laughs> red bell peppers. We had also red onions, and in addition, we had courgettes or zucchinis. Roasted them off, a little bit of salt, oil, and not forgetting those garlic cloves in there. Take them out afterwards, or you can keep them in. It's up to you. Uh, we also made a tomato sauce, so onions, garlic, um, a little touch of dried thyme and or dried oregano, um, and then cooked out for about five minutes. Then add in a can of tomatoes. Um, tablespoon of distilled vinegar to bring out the flavors of the tomatoes and then two tablespoons of honey or sugar just to bring that sweetness back to where it is and balance it out so it's not so, too acidic a bit of pinch of salt at the end obviously not not when you're cooking it uh cooking it down for about an hour and also in addition adding about 240 ml or one cup of water um, and as i said turn it down to a low cook it down slow and low and then blend it pinch of salt bob's your uncle ready to go once that's cooled down, mix it with the veg once that's cooled down as well. Um, and then we use puff pastry, we lined it. And if you've got a lattice cutter to get that beautiful lattice, that's fine if you haven't, you could actually cut it. It might take you about quite a bit of time um, for the other piece of pastry. Egg washed it, folded it over, um, and then we cooked it in the oven for about 350 Celsius, oh, no, 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 350 Fahrenheit, uh, 160, no, 180 Celsius, sorry, chat. Goodness me, it's a long day. Uh, and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes until golden. And making sure you do egg wash the top of the pastry as well to get that golden, beautiful glisten. Look at that. So, so good. Um, and then the rocket, easy. Bit of rocket or uh, cheap salad. I had rocket because it was in my, my fridge. Um, you can do iceberg or romaine. Um, and then just making a basic dressing, one teaspoon of mustard, one tea tablespoon of distilled vinegar and two tablespoons of oil of your choice. Dead simple, easy dressing, fantastic. Are you ready for this chat? Oh my goodness me. 
Hmm. Oh, wow. So you got that tangy tomato, the roasted vegetables, the cheese, the, the crispy puff pastry. Oh my goodness me. That is a delight, chat. Absolute delight. But uh, anyway, have a great rest of your day. Much loves, amigos. And uh, let's go raid somebody. Bye for now.